Good. Um, I have the pleasure and the honor of introducing to you two persons here um, who are really working at um, La Quadrature. Il faut bien me. La Quadrature du Net. Alors, c'est vraiment quelque chose en français. And uh, it's an organization, NGO. It's actually working really on uh, the rights, on freedom of citizens on the internet. Um, I understood that Agnès is there responsible for the coordination, mainly about legal issues, and that um, Okin, I pronounce this well, he's more responsible about the technical side. He runs as well, I think, uh, get a bunch of volunteers who are helping you around. Please give them a welcome applause. Let's the show start. No. Oh. <laughs> So hello, so we are here is Okin, but he has already been be introduced. Uh, the Turk person from La Quadrature du Net, and I'm uh, Agnes, and I'm, I'm, I work on uh, legal and political issues uh, at La Quadrature as well. So La Quadrature is an organization that fights for fundamental rights um, and freedoms in the digital area. We are here today to talk about the danger lying uh, above uh, your jobs especially if you're building or maintaining cryptogra cryptographic tools. We're here because um, we think it's important to demonstrate that the worst authoritarian laws don't only come uh, from far... Um, only don't only come from far-right governments, such, high, uh, such uh, as uh, Hungary or Poland, but mostly from the social democracy compatible with market economy, to quote uh, Angela Merkel. So, along with Germany and the, uni the, the United Kingdom, but with Brexit uh, exit the UK, uh, France is one of the biggest forces within the EU, and if France can rally at least one of the two others on board, it can obtain what it wants from its um, European partners. It works both ways, of course, uh, but it's important um, because the problem is that France is not only exporting its knowledge and practice of law enforcement and anti-riot gear to various governments, such as Tunisia or others, uh, France is now also shining for its anti-privacy lobbying, as you will see later. What is it? What is it? What? Do you hear me? No. <laughs> So, what is interesting here is to think about what we can do as technicians, uh, developers, sysadmins, sysops, or legal persons uh, specialized in technology uh, issues. Because the threats come from legal, political, and technical area, and endanger not only us, but also sex workers, abused women, and abused people who need to flee their home, uh, and so on. We have to think about our role and to find ways to act to fight against the threats against inscription. We're going to start with a quick but, sadly, non-exhaustive history of flaws uh, trying to weaken or circumvent cryptography in France one way or another. We're including here everything that uh, talks about spywares uh, and keyloggers because they are direct, uh, direct threat against uh, a lot of cryptographic tools. Um, Okay, so let's be clear. Here, uh, we are only to talk about very specific aspects of the digital related law. Uh, access to the internet, filtering, censorship can probably be discussed in other talks with the same quantity of laws hindering those rights, but we will focus here on cryptography only. Before 1998, um, use of cryptographic tools for the public was essentially forbidden. The key length was limited to 128 bits for uh, asymmetric crypt cryptography. There were authentication of communication or uh, for ensuring integrity of the message. A declaration was necessary for all other users, especially for confidentiality. Uh, ex ante authorization from Prime Minister was required as well. After lengthy negotiation with the intelligence services, cryptography has been freed in 1998. 
But it still requires that the system used respect one of those three limitations. Um, the cryptography system cannot be used for confidentiality purposes without authorization. Or the cryptography system is operated by a third party owning a master key, which the police may have access to. Or the user does not need a strong confidentiality and can use a standard encryption solution with a key lower than 40 bytes. 40 bits. So, tu veux finir? So, since uh, since then, cryptography legislation has not uh, really evolved. Um, however, one national security or counterterrorism law after another, uh, we had something like uh, 30 uh, of them in the last 15 years. The judiciary and repressive arsenal did grow. For example, uh, police were authorized to install kilogers in the um, uh, Lopsi law uh, in uh, 2011. Then uh, police uh, were uh, authorized to force any person or entity to think, uh, well, uh, they think uh, able to decrypt um, or analyze to analyze every encrypted content they get their hands on in the counterterrorism law of uh, 2014 and the army and intelligence agency of course can help to do so those crypt ana analysis if needed and now the so called black boxes entered the game in the surveillance law of 2015 uh, there was a key uh, The first fact is the internal intelligence services signed the agreement with Panotil, but the military intelligence and uh, foreign intelligence services are quite concerned about it because they would rather maintain a strategic autonomy and not depend on the foreign power of their own private devices. And in the same way, the use of INSI catchers is granted to cops and they can install spirals on the terminal without prior validation of the church. INSI catchers and spirals are being used together any or the prevention of undeclared protests. And thanks to the state of emergency since 2015 and now made permanent uh, in uh, last October, 
Such warrants may now be delivered on mere rumor and suspicions uh, after the fact without any investigations. They allow for collection of any data found on site, uh, and data are kept during three months if they're encrypted. Uh, th and if they're encrypted, the judge can decide to retain them indefinitely until they decrypt them. And such and without any investigative power. So to conclude this depressive uh, state of affairs, we need to add that cryptography is an aggravating circumstances. Uh, in a long list of crimes and felonies linked to um, terror, um, linked prim primarily to organized crime and terrorism, but also conveniently to adding refugees, for example. So encrypting things makes you even more suspect and more guilty. Oh, and we almost forgot. If ever you're operating a cryptographic system for third parties, you have an obligation to provide either decryption key or plain text to cops if they ask for it, and you have 72 hours to comply which means a lot of pressure on you. Uh, it probably can apply to yourself if you're being investigated upon, but it might clash with the right to remain silent and to not self-incriminate. We do not have a lot of jurisprudence here. But we recently had cases where um, cops, uh, was where those law has been used. One of them was to coerce a teenager to provide decryption key for an encrypted chat with hotel he was operating and which had been used by people who were making fake bomb alarm, uh, fake bomb alert in schools. Um, for one more we know, and for one case, for one of such cases we know about, how many of them have gone unnoticed, people choosing to keep their life going and to avoid uh, jail, uh, jail time and face huge fines. So here it's important to note that there is difference being made um, between cryptography which enforces security communication and cryptography which enforces confidentiality. In this presentation, we are addressing the issue of cryptography in the context of confidentiality only. Um, to illustrate that this debate goes beyond the classic lines of uh, left-right politics, we'd like to display some quotes on the topic by various um, uh, ministers, candidates, elected representatives, and prominent political speakers. For example, um, Eric Ciotti, he's a member of uh, parliament from the right wing. He wants to find Apple 1.5 million euro. If they refuse to give encryp en encryption keys, among other outrageous things, he said, this is one taking hold. François Molins, uh, Paris prosecutor, wrote an op-ed in the New York Times uh, against cryptography. The title is quite explicit. It states, when phone encryptions block justice. Uh, and he talks about the importance, uh, and even if he talks about the importance of privacy rights of individual and in the same paragraph of the marginal benefits of full disk encryption, uh, he signs this bullshit with his colleagues, Cyrus Vance Jr., District Attorney of Manhattan, Adrian Lepard, Commissioner of London City Police, and Javier Zaragoza, Chief Prosecutor of High Court in of Spain. I'll let you read the full quote uh, in all its splendor. So we have also Guillaume Poupard um, from the uh, ANSSI we talked about before. He said just before the Bataclan attack uh, in 2015 that backdoors and key sequestrations is a bad idea and that he instead proposes to work on points of clear text. Whatever it means, it probably is a stands for transport security and against confidentiality of communications. Emmanuel Valls, then Prime Minister, used the term legal cryptography in interviews while the official discourse for the last 20 years was that all cryptography was legal. Here, um, the Digital National Council, then chaired by Munir Majoubi, who is now Secretary of State for Digital Issues, did oppose the ideas of backdoors and did advocate for the use and development of end-to-end -end encryption just before the presidential electoral race. You will see later why it's important. Bernard Debré, another uh, elected representative from the right wing, uh, he actually ordered drugs online, uh, cocaine for 80 euros a gram, uh, on an onion services to prove how dangerous it is. He also said you can buy body parts and guns there and that it's easier than ordering shoes online. He also bought a lot of drugs from a non-hidden services website hosted in Netherlands, so surely the encryption is at fault here. 
So Jean-Jacques Urvoas, um, the, um, who was a uh, Minister of Justice, said he wants uh, to access computers, Skype communications, and so on, um, and to put all suspects and their entourage uh, under, under permanent recording. He also, um, well, between the first and second turn of the last presidential elections, he broke the professional secret and sent to Thierry Soler, uh, who is a member of parliament from the right wing, um, the information that he was investigated upon. I, he sent the message by, uh, with a telegram, and the note was saved on uh, Thierry Soler's phone and found during a police search uh, at his house later on. In August 2016, there was a joint declaration of Thomas de Maizière and Bernard Cazeneuve, interior ministers of Germany and France respectively, about European internal security and the state that at the European level it will require to force the non-cooperative operator to remove illegal content or to decrypt message during investigation. Uh, however, um, so it was a joint communication, but French written version of the joint declaration was different than Germans. Only France uh, kept the part about uh, how it would be so great to have backdoors or golden keys. So either Germany didn't want uh, to publicly advocate for backdoors or they had a uh, different strategy. But unfortunately, very recently, the same de Maizière announced uh, that he wanted to force tech and car companies to provide the security services with hidden digital access to all devices and machines. Uh, he probably did not know that if you lower the security of car, you dramatically increase the risk of accident, among others. Um, all of this was before Macron was elected last spring. Uh, it's like an actual photo. It's not a Photoshop. Uh, during his presidential campaign, Emmanuel Macron said that we should put an end to, crypt to cryptography by forcing the biggest company to provide encryption key or to give access to a decrypted content stating, stating that, quote, one day they'll have to be responsible of terror attacks complicity, end quote. So, Munir Majoubi again. He was then counseling the candidate and no, he is now internet minister. Um, he, he has been forced to backpedal and to explain that um, messing with end-to-end -end cryptography was out of question and that they'd rather force companies to cooperate faster with police forces. He specifically emphasized the importance of cryptography by companies to protect trade and is industrial secrets. And since then, uh, Munir Bajoubi has become totally sil silent on this topic. So it seems that encryption for confidentiality is a real problem for them. Would you be surprised to know that to communicate with his political party and representatives, Emmanuel Macron, now president, uses Telegram, an application regularly described by a lot of rep uh, representatives as an enabling terrorism tool and which um, should be banned. Their words, not ours. Animal Farm is back. We are all equal with the use of cryptography, but some are more equal than the others. Coupled with this focus on protecting companies' secrets, this confirms that the startup nation doesn't care about protecting citizens, but only about business and powerful friends. This becomes blatantly obvious when you look at Macron's social and economic policies. Last but not least, uh, successive French government put pressure to add in the law the possibility for cops to ask you uh, for all of your online handles, including that all Yahoo mailboxes, ICQ numbers, your Twitter or Facebook account, all the weird nicknames you use on IRC and stuff like that. That's why mine is currently a fork bomb and better it in shell shock, but I think we can get more creative and find a way to be more destructive for a system when cops would have to enter it into their systems. Two attempts have been made al already and rejected at some point. Uh, this kind of registration already exists in the UK and the US, and we hope the government won't succeed in France to put this kind of limitation in law. So, as demonstrated, uh, France is one of the very active uh, power against cryptography within the EU. Even if some of other member states did express some concerns, concerns namely Poland, Croatia, Hungary, Italy, Latvia, and other countries, 
Uh, those concerns have been prompted by other member states and probably f uh, France. Each new bill is a risk to reduce the use of cryptography, especially with the criminal, digital, or judiciary laws that are coming soon. For, uh, for instance, France is pushing hard for avoiding any obligation on end-to-end -end, uh, encryption in the privacy regulation. They explicitly uh, ask to gain access to any communication or metadata, uh, which is what is written here in French. Sorry, we didn't translate it. Um, the government also uh, pushes to obtain um, EU legislation on encryption, which would limit end-to-end -end encryption, of course. Um, the government intends then to use this uh, EU legislation for justifying its position while it did create those proposals at, uh, at the first place. place. Um, in the next month, the, e the discussions on e-evidence will start at the EU le level as well. There will probably be a lot of talks about uh, cryptography in the next counter-terrorist package expected in 2018. Um, Counterterrorism is always a good way for the governments to make some provisions to enhance security and to lower the rights and freedoms. Uh, they threaten the parliament to be responsible of the next attacks and the member of parliaments thus vote anything just because they don't want to be uh, responsible. So, as technician, what can we do? Uh, from a technical perspective, uh, we think we should operate communication infrastructure and systems in an illegal and clandestine way. It is important to build undetectable and encrypted communication systems that break the link between your online communications and yourself. Making those tools available to the general public and mass adopted by them is a critical and untrivial issue to address, especially as French legal registration system might block access to high-quality privacy-preserving encryption tools. Uh, for instance, Apple requires you to fill the ANSI form and obtain a certificate from them to put your software on the app, app store already. Moreover, it is paramount to think wider because if your encrypted communication relies on a centralized infrastructure and a highly identifying piece of information, such as, for instance, a phone number, then a passive listener, such as an IMSI catcher, can get your phone number from a protest you were at, for instance, and then guess what your account is, and then they got your phone number, so they can ask to deploy kilogirls and uh, spyware on your phones. Uh, and, th and thus defeating all the security based on your phone number. At a time where more and more governments want to endure encryption and secret of communication, it is critical to have access to communication systems that are free, pseudonymous, decentralized and distributed to the widest audience possible, meaning user-friendly, yes, and to think about ways to push those tools everywhere. It is also important to uh, lead political battles. We need all available help to slow down this attack at the national and European levels. We need to get out of the security discourses and to break the link between encryption and security for the state. Uh, and to counter the argument that only people committing crimes and felony do use cryptography. We need a positive discourse about cryptography, how it helps people with their daily lives, how it improves social structures, how it protects the identity of queers, how it helps abused women to seek help and to escape their home, how it enables a positive change in the society, as many changes often come from activities not approved by the society. Um, if you want more concrete steps and ways to help, we're, we're currently running a support campaign, so you can help us there at support.laquadrature.net. And after the Q&A, because we have some time left, you can come drink some tea at the tea house uh, in the CCL building and have some tea and chat with us. Thank you all for listening. And if you have any questions, I think we have some time. All right, we have five minutes for questions. Um, are there people? out there maybe on the internet because I don't see it. no are there some people here who have questions for these for this lovely organization well I have a question actually so you gave us some advice regarding um, using avatars uh, alter egos that's one one thing there you know what I what happens I'm teaching as well and my colleagues teachers even in that kind of digital age that we live in 
are always wondering when I'm using several avatars, several devices, is that is that it's not it seems like it's not accepted actually because they're looking at you like are you a criminal or what <laughs> what did you do wrong don't you get that kind of questions as well from your audience um, yes we got that a lot uh, the thing is a lot of people commit crimes using their real name and IDs and stuff like that most of the people are asking people online for instance do not use pseudonymous uh, account or system like that they want to be known as asking people and stuff like that so it's yeah. like we need to get out of this kind of discourse and say, hey, I can do whatever I want with my online identities. It's not your business. And if I'm doing something wrong, you have to prove it, like with due process of law and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. I see there is a question raising here. Microphone number two. I was wondering uh, what counts in practice as import and export of cryptography? I mean, if I'm in France and I download OpenSSL, do I have to fill out the ANSSI form or... Uh, not for OpenSSL because it's uh, not a device that, uh, it's not a protocol that uh, have a goal to provide a confidentiality of communication, which is end to end encryption. Um, so, uh, well, GPG or? Um, yeah, GPG requires, uh, is supposed to have uh, an import certificate and, and I think they have it. Uh, for, and for individuals or for organizations? For the organization which provides you the access to the tool. Like Google is supposed to provide that, uh, Apple to Microsoft, uh, Debian. Uh, Debian is, uh, I think Debian have filled the, uh, filled the, uh, have made the paperwork. Uh, each the Linux distribution should do it and stuff like that. Okay. Good. Um, a question here, microphone number one. Hey, thanks so much for the talk. Um, I'd really love to hear a little bit more about the very crunchy in depth bits about encryption policy in France, now might not be the right time. Um, but building off of the last question, what kinds of laws or policy are around taking encryption technology outside of France, like across a border? Well, for exporting techno uh, encryption technology, it, there is um, a VASNAR agreement uh, signed by uh, several countries. And um, so I don't know. Uh, by heart everything in, the, in there, but for all, um, uh, which is about all uh, double, um, uh, double use, double use uh, systems, uh, for example, a system that can use uh, for war and for other um, uh, uh, use, I mean, um, then you have uh, it's it's forbidden, or it's, uh, you have to declare that you're exporting such uh, tools, etc. So for exporting, you have this Vasnar agreement, um, and if if uh, there is, uh, I think there is nothing else if it's not a double use system. Thank I don't you. Think so. Okay, one last question, please. There, Mr. Tree. Yeah, it seems to me that all of these laws are mostly falling under national security. Are there any laws, way to challenge any of this on the European level? So on the European level, there's wonderful direct data protection directives and all the stuff, but my understanding is that all of these directives, uh, any state can kind of opt out of them for national security reasons. So is there anything that can be done on any level without invoking a national security exception? Uh, yeah, well, all uh, data protection, uh, the data protection regulation uh, policies well, at the EU level, and especially the the, reg the GDPR, the General Data Protection uh, uh, Regulation, um, has a specific um, provision that enable member states to say, okay, it doesn't apply because it's a sec national security issue. Um, right now. What I said, what I showed here, what I, uh, is that in, in the e-privacy regulation, which is currently under uh, negotiation at the EU level, the, the EU Parliament has already adopted um, a position which uh, promotes encryption as soon as uh, it's possible to have end-to-end -end encryption. And that's why the French government is trying to push it away uh, there will be a uh, negotiation between the Council, the uh, European Parliament, and the European Commission. The Council represents all member states, so there will be a negotiation with all the, the institutions. 
beginning this summer probably, or just after the summer, but maybe a little bit before. Um, um, and then the French government is going to try to push it away. So to try, uh, and as 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 we saw in the in the document with. I s we, s we we show in in French, um, the government is trying to um, uh, get to to gain access to all communications and data. Uh, it's very clear in the French uh, communication uh, we we showed. Okay, um, may I make it. a suggestion? Um, they have a fantastic tea house. You have to continue this discussion later on there with a cup of tea and some massage. Maybe um, I have one last call for you both, you know, and the audience. And dignez vous. Huh? <laughs> That's what we want to hear. And dignez vous.